Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the brand new Light Rider NV LT model. This is a power wheelchair that's made by Golden Technologies. It's the updated version that's lighter in weight compared to the previous Light Rider NV standard version, hence the LT for the lightweight version. Now, before we get started, I want to mention two very important things. Number one, if you want a copy of our brand new catalog, all you have to do is visit our website, www.mobilitydirect.com. Just click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out that simple short form and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to mention that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically going to get entered into our monthly giveaway. We give away a free mobility product once per month. Sometimes it's a wheelchair, sometimes it's a mobility scooter. So make sure you subscribe so that you can get automatically entered and earn a chance to win a free scooter or wheelchair every 30 days. I'm going to show the last winner on the screen so that you know it's legit and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're here. We're pulling up to the uh lucky winner's apartment building and we're gonna bring the scooter up to her door and we're gonna get the reaction on video I'm pretty excited this is awesome I mean we're giving away a mobility scooter to someone that truly needs it so stay tuned we're gonna go up the elevator it's on the third floor and we're gonna present this custom scooter to the winner Oh, thank you. Man. You like the scooter? Not it for me. I thought we're giving this. I was going to say, you look like you can run a marathon. You don't need a scooter. No. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your Did neighbor. Yeah, they, they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh yep. my gosh. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's good Here's to meet you. Yeah. This is for you. Oh, God bless you, you won! Alright, so, we're here with tissue. Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. and. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back. Good luck to you if you subscribed. Hopefully you're the next lucky winner. I do want to also mention that on the first Wednesday of every month, we're doing a live stream video on our YouTube channel. It's a live Q&A video so you can ask te technical questions and get technical answers. So if you need help, with your scooter or power wheelchair and you just don't have a technician nearby, join us the first Wednesday of every month, ask your technical questions, and we'll get you the answers you're looking for. If you can't make it to the live stream, we also have a help forum on our website where you can post technical questions and a technician will get in touch with you with an answer in a timely manner. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. You aren't gonna need any tools except for something to cut the box open. There's some staples, some pallet straps, so be careful, I've got a knife here. You could use a pair of scissors or a box cutter. Either way is fine. So we've cut the pallet straps. It will show up on a wooden crate. We've removed it from the wooden crate and I'm just popping up the lid which has some staples in it. So be careful. Those staples are pretty sharp and they can cut you if you're not careful. So carefully open the box, minding the staples. Now, as soon as you open the box, you're gonna notice that there is a quick start guide. It shows you how to set up the wheelchair, how to adjust the seat post so that you can raise or lower the seat height. And it's a two page quick start guide. I highly recommend reading this. Now we're gonna go through the setup process so you really don't need to follow along with this if you're using the video. So upon opening the box, I just wanna tilt it over a little bit so you can see from the top what's in there. Got a lot of bubble packaging to keep the product safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out all the protective material one piece at a time. And I'm just gonna tilt it back now and grab the seat, which is loose. So the seat has a male seat post on the bottom, which connects into the seat post. Here's the charger, which comes in a white box. It is a 24 volt smart charger. One end goes into the wall and the other end 
plugs right into the charging port of the joystick controller. It's a barrel connector with three pins and the wall outlet plug. You just connect the side for the wall outlet into the hole and you're good to go. Now when you first get your product, you should always give it a training charge, which means just plug it in. You could leave it in overnight, give it at least four to five hours before you go using the power wheelchair. Charge it for a good four to five hours minimum. All right, so I'm just going to start removing as much of the cardboard packaging as I can, getting ready to take the unit out of the box. Every Golden Technologies power wheelchair and scooter comes with the famous safety flag. Complimentary. So here we have an armrest. It's a flip up armrest and it has the bracket for the joystick controller, which you can mount on the left or the right side. Grab the other armrest. This one does not have the bracket for the joystick controller. And at this point, I have pretty much the entire um, product unbox. Oh, no, nope. one more thing here. Here's the joystick. Joystick controller. Now at this point, I'm uh, gonna, I'm gonna tilt the box over and show you in there one more time what's in there. We've got the unit now, the base, and I'm gonna take the battery out, which has a handle, which you can grab from right here and pull straight up. Now, the battery box is tied into the frame. So back here, you can kind of see it's tied into the frame. So I'm gonna take my knife. and cut that strap. Now that that strap is cut, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other one, which is going over the top, so that we can remove the battery pack, which is gonna help with getting this out of the box. All right, there we go. So now with both of them disconnected, the battery pack comes out. So I'm just gonna put that to the side and begin taking the product out of the box. Now it's pretty lightweight, so if you want at this point, you could just pick the unit straight up out of the box. And I'm gonna do that here, put the camera back. All right, so I'm gonna grab from the handle on the foot plate and the frame on the back, pick straight up. You can see the handle on the foot plate there and the crossbar on the back, which is part of the frame. And I'll put this down, gonna make some room. We'll be right back with you. All right, so welcome back. We've made some room, got our armrest, joystick, our seat, safety flag, charger, user manual. Make sure you read your user manual in its entirety before you operate this product so that you don't damage the product or injure yourself. Now, what I'm gonna do first is where the seat post goes, there's a little styrofoam cylinder in there and the seat post slides in there. So you wanna make sure that you take this out first. And if you look in the basket, you're gonna see a piece of bubble wrap. And this bubble wrap appears to be pretty heavy. And that's because inside is the seat post. The seat post is gonna slide right into this hole, which I'll tilt the product forward so you can see where I removed that styrofoam cylinder from. So this is gonna slide in there. And there is a hole which you can use to pass the bolts through one of the holes that are used to adjust the height of the seat post. So that's how you would adjust the height of the chair. So let me get the bolt, which is in the bag with the user manual. Again, keep your user manual handy, read through it in its entirety, and keep your packaging for at least five days in case you need to return your product. So here we have the nut and the bolt it does have a little curved washer on it as well. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this seat post. Now there's notches on the seat post and those notches are gonna be used for the rotation feature of the seat. All right, so here we have the seat post and you can see there's notches. These notches need to be facing a certain direction 
and you want that to be to your right. So the notches should be facing to the right of the wheelchair base so that the holes line up with the hole in the front and the back of the sleeve for the seat post. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in. I'm gonna set it with the lower hole so that the seat sits up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna just line up these holes with the holes on the front and the back, make sure that the bolts can go through from the rear, push it through, get my curved washer, put it right there, grab the nut, and tighten it all the way up. You can use any kind of tools for this, really. Um, i just doing this out of uh, making this video a little bit faster because I don't have my Allen key set next to me right now, but you can use a socket and an Allen key and basically just make sure that this is tightened all the way. There we go. I know I'll probably get somebody yelling at me for using the wrong tools in a comment, but that's okay. You just wanna make sure this is nice and tight. There we go. So now that this is in, I'm gonna stick the battery box in. All right, so a couple things to notice. Here on the sides, you're gonna see these little grooves. These grooves that are like sliding rails are gonna slide, it's on each side, they're gonna slide into the grooves here. And one thing you wanna notice, here's one groove, here's the other groove for the right side. So these little rails will slide in there and basically it'll slide in and make contact here. However, there's some little blocks here that are used while the item is in storage in the warehouse. They don't want the batteries to make contact or else you will have dead batteries when it arrives. So take these little covers off, line it up so that the charging port is facing up. There's the charging port for the three prong barrel connector. As long as it's facing up, line it up, drop it straight in. That's it. It's in there. So to take it out, it's the same process. You just pick up, slide it out. And you can see the terminal contacts down here, which make contact with the terminal connector block down there. You can see from here the two motors. There's these yellow levers in there that are for turning off the automatic braking system for each motor. Be careful with all that. So let's go ahead and slide this in, good to go. Now we're gonna grab the seat, which has a male connection post at the bottom for the female side of the seat post. I'm gonna just drop it in and then you'll see as we back the camera away, I start to level out the seat, wiggle it, and it should just drop in. There we go, now it's locked in, it's not rotating. When you wanna rotate it, there is a lever on the right that you push down and that will allow you to rotate the seat 180 degrees. So you can go all the way left, all the way right. Or of course, you can lock in at an offset angle. It locks in six different positions. Well, one, two, three, four, five different positions actually. So that's basically how you install the seat. Now on the back, there are some freewheel levers. Right now, if I try to push this, the brakes are on. That's because it has automatic brakes. All power wheelchairs have automatic brakes. They have two motors, and each motor has an automatic brake lever, which I'm gonna turn off temporarily here so I could show you how to manually push the chair in what's known as freewheel mode. So once you are ready to push the chair manually, if your battery's not around or if the battery dies, you just change the position of these two yellow levers. So right now it's locked in. You can see there's even a little indicator there that says brake engaged, disengaged. So if it's engaged, your wheelchair brakes are always on. And if it's disengaged, then the brakes are off and you can manually push the chair if you need to. Keep in mind, if the brakes are not on, you will not be able to use the motor and use the joystick to control the chair. Instead, it's just gonna beep at you and not work. So don't get frustrated. Just remember you need to turn on the automatic brakes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and install the armrests, which is a very easy process. So on the bottom, in the rear, we have a sleeve for the armrest to slide into. Now, you can see that there are little set screws in there. It looks like something's missing, but it's not, it's actually, a hole 
for this Allen key that comes with the user manual bag. So if you adjust the width to where you want it, you can pull it out more, bring it in more, do whatever you want. I usually try and get like two finger width in between the seat and the armrest there. And then I tighten so that the armrest doesn't wiggle around. So once you have that nice and tight, the armrest is locked in. Now on the back here, you do have a universal one inch square hitch receiver, which again, these are used for many different accessories. Get that in there without breaking my nail. But basically you loosen this knob, you can put a rear cage style basket, oxygen tank holder, and many different accessories that all use a one inch square receiver attachment. Now we're just gonna rinse and repeat on the other side. Now keep in mind this armrest has the uh, bracket for the joystick, but you can easily remove that with two bolts and put it on the other side if you want to have it set up with the joystick on the left hand side. So I'm gonna do my little hand measure, make sure I have about two fingers of distance here and then just tighten this up. There we go, nice and firm. And to install the joystick, it's quite easy. Here it is. Take off this little zip, twisty, and flip up the armrest to make it easier. Just drop this rail into the sleeve. You're gonna have to loosen this knob for it to go through. I like to give it about two inches in between the armrest and give it a little two finger wedge test and then tighten that up. Now it's in. Now there's a little clip here for the wire. So you just slide your wire right in there, boom. And basically you could like wrap it around the armrest once or twice, but you wanna have it somewhat loose so that it has some slack so when you rotate your seat it doesn't get pinched. So I might wrap it around twice. I don't want it to be too too loose. And just look for that little arrow and that's indicator for the clip to attach on that side. Of course it won't really go in the wrong way. Just look at the way the connectors are. Actually it doesn't go on the side with the arrow. The clip goes on the side without the arrow. So that's it. It won't connect any other way. Um, if you see that it's kind of hanging out too low there, you can wrap it up again, but basically you just want to make sure that it's not going to get caught up under the wheels like that. So you can even tuck it in down there. Just be careful. There's no really wrong or right way to do this. And at this point, we have the chair pretty much fully assembled. Now I have the automatic brakes turned off. So I'm just going to show you what happens if I turn the chair on. It's not moving. And if you look here, we'll, we'll zoom in, you can see the armrest, the joystick rather, is blinking like crazy and it's not working. So what do I do? I'm gonna turn the brake levers into the engaged position. All right. Now if I come back here and I hit this, no more rapid blinks. If I hit the joystick, it's moving as it should. So I'm gonna show you a few more things here. This armrest, to me, appears like it's slanted upwards. So to fix that, there is a set of bolts. And these bolts have an Allen key head, which is, this is not the right size Allen key, unfortunately. But once you get in there, you can adjust the height of this bolt. You might have to loosen that nut up and you can lower that bolt head so that it's set down lower and that will allow the armrest to go down lower and eventually once it's low enough this armrest will be level. So if your armrest is not level when it gets out of the box and it's slanted upwards like this you want to lower that bolt just a little bit and then it will level out. But at this point the chair is pretty much fully assembled and what we're going to do now is just demonstrate a couple of things how it works the safety flag you can put into the back pocket. We'll go ahead and remove the bag on the seat really quick. The charging port is conveniently located here 
underneath the joystick controller. So all you have to do is plug your wall outlet plug into the wall first and then plug this three pin barrel connector into there. Now there is a light on the charger that shows when the charger is turned on, that's the power, and then the charge light is going to be red until it's fully charged. Once it's fully charged, it will turn green. It is a smart charger, so it will not overcharge your batteries. Once it's fully charged, it just starts blinking green, and that's how you know it's in battery maintenance mode, and it's just trickle charging it at that point. Now the flag, there's a little slot in the back and you could choose to have it with the extension, but then it's really high. So I like to give it the halfway uh, raise and there's a little hole back here, slides right in. There you go. So now the chair is officially ready for use. The unboxing assembly process is pretty easy. Don't really recommend white glove delivery unless you absolutely need it. And this is basically the chair fully assembled. All right, so we have the chair here ready to go. I'm going to disassemble it and show you how easily this thing comes apart. The first thing you want to do is disconnect the joystick cable. So we disconnect that. I like to fold the back seat, uh, the backrest down first, grab one hand underneath the hitch receiver, one hand in the front underneath. Pick straight up. If you tilt in any direction while lifting, it'll get stuck and it will not come out. It'll appear as if though the chair is stuck. So make sure you just pick straight up. Next thing you do is just grab the battery box by the handle, pull straight back. And here is where the magic happens. So there's a little handle back here. What you want to do is just pull straight up on that handle and lift up on the frame. And then you're going to see the front half detaches from the rear. So when you're putting it back together, you want to pay attention to this groove and this groove. There's little notches here. They're like little hooks that are upside down, like a U-shaped hook. And there's these bolts or these little knobs that are painted yellow on the left and right side. These little yellow indicators need to fall right in here in these grooves. So we're going to line it up. I'm going to try and get the best camera angle here. And once it's lined up, you can see it starts falling in. Now what you have to do is make sure that the lever here is lifted all the way up so that that piece clears the rail and goes underneath it and then pull it back down. Now it's locked back into place. And that's it. So at this point, we can put the battery box back in, use the sliders here into the grooves, and it pretty much just drops in uh, with weight and gravity. So there's not much to it. And then we just grab the seat post, mail connector, drop it in, level it out, wiggle it in, reconnect the connector here for the joystick controller, and we're good to go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Light Rider NV LT by Golden Technologies comes with a one-year in-home service agreement and an excellent parts warranty. If you want to learn more about this product, like all the specifications, uh, and watch even more videos on how it's used in real life applications, like going through a grocery store, check out our YouTube channel, visit our website, mobilitydirect.com. We have the link in the description to the product page to see the user manual more pictures, all the specifications, and much, much more. If you want to purchase it on our website, we offer it for sale tax-free. Shipping is free, again, at mobilitydirect.com. My name is Sergio. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form, and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.